Yo, it's me, Hellhound, and uh, I want to tell you guys all about my brand new show on YouTube. Um, <clears throat> so I've got uh, a lot of pretty good shows going, I think. You know, there's, of course, there's Hellhound's Midnight Spook Show, which is just me talking about movies or music or whatever. And there's Dead Level Discussions, which is me and Spellbinder talking about mostly like nerd culture and stuff like that, Star Trek, Star Wars, video games, cartoons we grew up with, stuff like that, Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters. Um, then, of course, there's Into the Pit, which is me and Dr. Guts talking about metal. You know, our favorite bands, songs, artists, albums, pretty much anything to do with metal. Um, then there's the Video Graveyard, a.k.a. Video Horror Section, with me and Dark Wolf talking about the 80s or horror or Halloween or VHS tapes. Um, and I recently joined the Horror Hangout, um, which the last episode they did, which was around Halloween, I was a special guest. Now I'm actually officially part of it, so... Uh, there's another show I'm on, but I want to tell you guys about my brand new show, which will not be on my channel. It's not going to be on the Horror Metal channel. Uh, we attempted to do it that way, but unfortunately my iPad cannot host uh, Hangouts and uh, have special guests. So I tried to do it on my uh, laptop, but I have to download a bunch of software before I'm able to do um, live streams. And plus, I don't think it'll let me do my Horror Metal account on YouTube because it has to be under Google Hangouts. So I'd have to use my Google Plus um, account, which is just called Hellhound. Um, and that part of my channel, that, that account has zero subscribers, zero videos, no content, so it defeat the whole purpose. So if I can't have it under my Horror Metal channel, why even bother having it under any of my channels at all? Um, so we're going to keep it on Sean Urshan's channel. So once again, um, this new um, series is going to be known as the Blood Spattered Trio. As it be consisting of myself, Hellhound from the Horror Metal channel, uh, Sean Urshan from the Horror Corner, and... Bronco Juggalo Talks Movies. This is going to be the three of us making up the Blood Spatter Trio. And once again, it's not going to be in the Horror Metal channel. It's going to be part of the Horror Corner, Sean Urshan's channel. So you need to subscribe to his channel, um, check out his videos, um, and uh, look out for our first episode, which is going to be on Tuesday. Um, that's about the 6th, I believe. I think that's November 6th. I'm pretty sure. Today's the 4th, I think. Um, I don't know. Whatever Tuesday is, pretty sure it's the 6th. Um, so yeah, check out his channel. That's S-E-A-N-E-R-S-C-H-E-N. -E -E um, he's got some great content. You can check out his other videos as well. But I will be on his sh on his channel as part of the Horror Hangout. Um, I also did a live stream with him not too long ago. It was just one of his live streams. He always has a guest on there. I was a guest on there. Then I was a guest on the Horror Hangout, which now I'm officially part of. Um, our um, The next Horror Hangout episode, which is the third or fourth episodes. But the first official uh, to feature me as a full member um, will be... Later this month in November, uh, the date escapes me at the moment, but I will keep you posted. I will I'll post another promo video for that. So again, this isn't the first episode of the Blood Spatter Trio that you're watching right now. This is just a promo for it, just a promotional video um, with news of our first episode. Um, I'm not sure if we have a title yet. I know we're going to talk about the big five slasher uh, franchises, villains, all that. Uh, if you're wondering what that means, obviously that's Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Halloween, Friday 13th, Never on Elm Street, and Child's Play, what we all... Uh, agreed were probably the most iconic and most well-known slasher franchises. So that's probably what the big five is. Um, and uh, we're going to talk about the best uh, entry from that series, which one has the best original film, which one has the best remake, um, which one has the best series overall, which one has the best soundtrack, which one has the best villain, stuff like that. I think we're also going to talk about some Halloween stuff. We might talk about the, the newest Halloween movie a little bit. Uh, I reviewed that on my channel. We've all reviewed it. Um, the other two guys, uh, Sean Urshan and Bronco Juggalo, have both given spoiler reviews, I believe. I haven't done mine yet. I'm going to wait till it comes out on DVD to give it a proper review. Uh, but anyway, those are some of the topics that we're going to be covering in the the, in, uh, the Blood Spatter Trio episode one, which again, this isn't that video and it's not going to be on my channel. It's not going to be on the Horror Metal channel. It's going to be on the Horror Corner, Sean Urshan's channel. So make sure you check that out. Um, the Blood Spatter Trio, Hellhound from Horror Metal, Sean Urshan from the Horror Corner, and Bronco Gigolo Talks Movies. Uh, just once again, one to reiterate. Um, i trying to think if there's any other updates. Um, but yeah, really excited to be part of a new show again. It would have been nice to have it on my channel, but that's okay. No big deal. Just make sure you guys uh, tune into Sean Urson's channel, which I highly recommend anyway. Um, also check out Bronco Juggalo's stuff. He's got a lot of great content as well. Um, and he has some very interesting, very unique uh, opinions on, on horror movies, which I'm glad because he doesn't just, you know, follow uh, what everybody else does. And he doesn't, uh, 
you know, just do whatever's popular or whatever. He actually has his own uh, individual opinions, which I really admire and I really respect that. And we don't agree on everything, but I think the I think we agree on a lot more than you'd think. And uh, and that's the great thing about horror, the different opinions. It'd be boring if we all, you know, had the same views. Um, me and Sean Urshan agree a lot more, um, but it makes for much better discussion when, you know, we have, you know, one person who has one opinion and somebody else has another one. And, you know, it just makes for some great discussion. Um and that's what I love about horror. But anyway, um, any other news? Uh, well, um, I made a big long list of modern horror movies that I'm going to watch. The more recent ones, you know. Uh, I've already seen a lot of them, like The Conjuring and Annabelle, Insidious, Sinister, uh, Happy Death Day. Um, I've, I've got a big long list, you know, Hereditary and A Quiet Place and uh, all of these movies. There's probably like at least 20 movies that are on there. Uh, Truth or Dare, uh, You're Next, uh, Get Out, uh, which, yeah, I still haven't seen that yet. Um, Lights Out, uh, Bone Tomahawk, I, I think is on there. There's a, a bunch, big old list. I should have brought my list with me so I could go down the list. But, uh, anyway, <clears throat> I, I, I watched The Witch already, and I thought that was pretty good. You know, not too bad. Kind of the same thing I've seen before, but it had some good ideas. Overall, I give it maybe, maybe a 7 out of 10. Uh, not bad. Pretty good. Pretty scary. Uh, again, I've seen that a lot. Uh, but my biggest mistake was the next movie I watched was It Follows. And the reason it was, it was a mistake to watch that movie is because all these other movies on the list, I already know, probably aren't going to be as good as that one because I absolutely loved it. It was just a creepy, straight-up, straightforward horror premise with no stupid generic cliches, no jump scares, no fake-outs, no unnecessary explanations, uh, you know, no, <laughs> no generic stuff. Very interesting, very unique idea. Uh, the tone of the film felt very... Uh, Kubrick-esque, and it, it was definitely a style I've seen done before, kind of a more old-school style. I love the creepy premise of this entity that follows you upon having intercourse and uh, with somebody else, and then uh, if you die, then it goes back after the last person who had the curse. Uh, this doesn't really make much sense how the curse got started, because, you know, the first person who got cursed, like, how would they have survived it? But maybe the entity waited around till it got, like, 10 or 20 deep, or even 100. Who knows how long this curse has been around. Um, I love how the time period is kept ambiguous. We don't know if it's in the the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, are cell phones, but then there's, you know, old TVs, and then the cars date from different years. It's, it's purposely left um, open to urban interpretation, so, you know, because they kind of want to have a dreamlike quality. Um, I love it has a sense of dread. It was just such a creepy, straightforward movie. There was no twist ending. There was no uh, scene where the characters go to a library, look at the internet, and say, okay, this entity is called a da-da-da-da-da. It came from this, and um, mythology states that it does this. This is its weakness. This is where it came from. We didn't need all that. I love how they left it so mysterious. And a lot of people complained that they didn't know enough about the entity itself. I was like, that's what I loved about it. It was so mysterious. That's exactly what I like. It was just a creepy movie that gave me a creepy feeling, gave me chills, and I thought it was done really well. There was a couple of shots, a couple of things I thought, okay, they're just trying to, you know, the entity would pose for like a, it'd be on top of a roof just because he was posing for a horror movie <laughs> uh, scene. But at the same time, there actually was a reason behind that. But anyway, I'm probably going to give that movie its full review, so I won't go into too much detail. But all I got to say is I really liked it. And starting with that one, uh, well, technically I started with The Witch, which is okay, but that was the second one I watched that was on my list. And probably a mistake, because I don't think any of the other ones are going to be quite that good. Um, but I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. Um, also, I did watch Haunting of Hill House, which... Um, Differs pretty significantly from Shirley Jackson's original novel of the same name. Um, and, you know, of course, there was the excellent 1963 adaption of that movie called The Haunting, then the forgettable 1999 version. Um, this movie strays pretty far from the novel. In fact, all that's similar are the title, the names of the characters, and maybe kind of the theme. And the twist ending is kind of similar to the twist, uh, a bit much more overblown. Um, I love the show. I thought it was really good. It started out really cliche and generic, and I thought, this is the same thing I've seen before. Then I, you know, it didn't have me hooked. It didn't sink me, sink me in. Nor were the second episode, but as I kept watching, the more engaged I got, the more I liked the characters. I watched the movie for the horror and the scares, but I stayed for the great characters, the great storyline, the really engaging premise. Um, and I couldn't wait to see what would, what happened. Um, there were some interesting twists and turns. I saw a few of them coming, but others not so much. And after the conclusion, after completing the first season, I'm not going to reveal any spoilers. I don't know how to feel about the ending yet. I don't know if it was brilliant or kind of a cop out, but it, again, it hasn't. It's something I haven't seen much of before. And yeah, there's a few generic cliches and you know typical jump scares and typical things you've seen in 
the standard haunted house formula before, but they definitely kept it very fresh and interesting, and the characters were engaging enough to keep me hooked. It wasn't just a boring haunted house movie with jump scares here and there, and somebody gets possessed, and there's a psychic character. It actually did have a lot of those elements, but they're done in a new, original way. Um, and it wasn't all just about being scary. It was like there was a lot more to it. Again, without giving anything away, I definitely thought that was a unique take. Um, I don't know why they called it, they give the same name as the Shirley Jackson novel, because uh, really, it should have been its own entity. It should have just been, it was like a revisionist thing. It kind of, you know, don't call it Haunting of Hill House. Don't give the characters the same names as some of the ones in the novel. It's really nothing to do with it. There's really, I don't know why they did that. They just, like, got the rights to that property and just used the name I don't know why. You know, and of course all these people are saying, oh, it reminds me of House on Haunted Hill, and it reminds me of Hills Have Eyes. Like, uh, no. Yeah, it's a similar title, but the novel was out, you know, when, <laughs> they're probably thinking about the 2006 Hills Have Eyes, because they don't even know if there was a 1977 one. But that's just me being a, you know, kind of a somewhat elitist horror fan. I'm not trying to knock anybody who is uneducated about, you know, older stuff, you know, stuff that predates the year 2000, which there are a lot of horror fans I know in real life, sadly, are kind of like that. But, Overall, I give this show a two thumbs up, and I really liked It Follows, too. Um, by the way, this is a promotional video for the Blood Spatter Trio, but I didn't just want to say, um, be there Tuesday, coming soon. I wanted to talk about a little, uh, you know, other things that are going on as well, and some recommend some great movies and great shows at the same time, while advertising for my brand new show. That's, once again, the Blood Spatter Trio, episode one, coming on Tuesday, featuring me, Hellhound from the Horror Metal Channel, Sean Urshan from the Horror Corner, and Bronco Juggalo Talks Movies. So be sure to t tune into, not to this channel, to Sean Urshan's channel. <laughs> Just wanted to reiterate. Um, also check out the Horror Hangout show, um, our upcoming stream. Check out his other content. Check out Bronco Juggalo Talks Movies, his great channel. Um, all right, guys, well, I'll see you there. I'm Hellhound. Thank you for watching uh, my Midnight Spook show and um, watching my channel. And don't forget to tune into Sean Urson's channel so you'll be, be able to see my brand new show, The Blood Spatter Trio. Really excited. Can't wait. It's going to be great. See you guys then. Later.